Nobody's like taxes, not even ministers for finance. As a government, our approach is to tax lightly so that people can keep most of what they earn and so that they can decide how best to spend it for themselves, for their families, or to donate it. But there are many critical national needs that are better met by government provision through taxes. This includes building up healthcare facilities and services and providing subsidies to ensure that our healthcare needs are well taken care of. This includes important priorities like mental health, which Ms. Antia Ong spoke about passionately and which will be discussed further during the COS. I agree with her that good mental health is a foundation for well-being and resilience. And we have already started including this as part of our work on human potential that have added to our national R&D budget. This includes developing good and affordable preschool services and education to give all children, including our children with special needs, a good start in life and the best chance for success, regardless of background. This includes building up the SAF and home team to support our way of life in an era of emerging external digital and terrorist threats. These are all issues that many of us in this house care deeply about and make eloquent pitches for the government to spend more on. There must be a role for the government to redistribute resources in the right way so that everyone shares in the fruits of progress. One way to do this is through schemes that enhance the capability, oh, sorry, our way to do this through schemes, is through schemes that enhance the capability of our people. Through investments in education, healthcare, and the provision of housing, as well as schemes to mitigate inequality like workfare and civil support. Mr. Singh asked earlier whether I, I could provide more details about our expenditure. In fact, I noticed that several MPs have gone through my budget annexes and looked at how much spending has increased for various ministries. So let me just take this occasion to cover one important area. An important area because the big shift in public expenditure in the next decade will be in healthcare spending. It will grow significantly as our population ages. 